Good evening, ma. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's everything going? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Thank you for this um, um for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, and you're definitely welcome. So let us tell us about yourself. What's your name? What name do you go by? Okay, my name is Okonkwo Tochuku Mary Francis. I'm from Anambra you said, State. You said Jane Francis. Mary, Mary, Francis. Mary Francis. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Anambra State, and um, where are you currently I... located? Ma? Where are you currently located? FCT, Abuja. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. So, um, so, so tell us what, what you're here for. Are you here to find love or are you here to talk about your business? I'm here to talk about my business. Okay. All right. So let's, <laughs> let's hear it. So tell us about your business. Okay. Um, I sell casual wares. Okay. I sell quality stock t-shirts, plain leggings, very thick leggings and biker shirts. Okay. And I also sell collar neck t-shirts okay. okay. and um i sell in um that's like units and in bundles okay okay units that single okay. or somebody buying two or there about then i sell in bundles for those that are buying to resell okay. all right so are this t-shirts you make it yourself no ma Okay. I buy them from my supplier. Okay. All right. So how long have you been in business? Okay. Off off and on since 2018. Um, okay. But since last year, I've been consistent in the business. Okay. So tell us, like, give an average from maybe since um, last year that you've been consistent or the past six months. How much do you sell every single month? About average, okay. about how much do you sell a month? Okay, every single month, if I um, if I'm correct, I make up to three hundred thousand thereabouts. In sales, averagely, yes, in sales. So, how much of those three hundred k is your profit? Okay. Um, let me say like two hundred and fifty thousand minus expenses like maybe um logistics data sponsor ads sometimes pay some of my friends to advertise for me i think these are just it because delivery fee comes from the customers buying from me and i don't do delivery every day I have selected days for delivery because of the costs of um, 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 transportation and to um, to also cut down costs too on so many other things too. Okay, so that's good. You're doing well. So what about the raw materials? You said you buy this T-shirt from someone. So is that 50K inclusive of the raw of the materials you buy as well? I didn't get so you, the question, ma'am. You said that 250K is profit and your expense yes, is 50K. So that yes. 50K expenses, does it include the cost you use to buy the t shirt? No. Okay. So that's, but if you're selling uh, um, that's too... wouldn't you remove the cost of the t shirt before you can come? When I say 200 to 50, that's removing all the expenses. Including? That's the capital itself is already taken out. Okay. And this is what I make. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I see what you're saying. So 300K is minus the, minus the cost of buying the shirts. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so tell us, what, what do you believe your business is? You seem to be doing pretty good business right now already so what yes, do you believe your business needs right now to grow 
okay right now my business needs um funds that's um to to expand okay i don't want to buy from from the person that i'm buying from now i i want to get from my direct supplier okay if i want to continue selling in bundles i should sell at a very good price so that people can buy from me um let me just give um, um like a small example example i buy let me say that i buy for 31000 per bundle okay and each bundle contains 10 of the shirts okay and when i'm reselling to to those that are buying in bundles i sell for 35 to 36000 okay if i'm selling it units i sell one for 4005 okay now the reason why i chose to 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 sell in in that bundle is the profit margin it's not much but there is this constant turnover self fast yeah and yes there's this constant turnover and i sell in um like in large numbers than selling just one one because if you're selling just one one it might take you like a week to sell two bundles so and um, for me to buy at that for me to buy it at that 31,000, it means that the person that I am buying it from gets it somewhere cheaper, let's say at 28,000. Why are you saying let's say? Does that mean you haven't done the research? Okay, um, to be sincere, the research that I did was as of last two weeks. Dollar rate has gone high now. The crew neck, from the supplier was 36,000 which we sell 45,000 so i was trying to gather funds to start buying at 36,000 but as of this morning the crew neck that was 36,000 it's now 41,000 so because of this dollar rate that is going up every day the prices are not stable I really the hope it comes down before Christmas because this dollar rate is really crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Very as in, I, 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 it's, it, but it's, it's just it's actually wow. it's, uh, it's actually choking we that were doing this type of petty stuff now because you could go to market and buy something at let me say thirty thousand this week sell them at thirty five thousand coming back is now thirty five thousand so that means that you that you didn't make gain from what that you sold the leggings um that we buy bundle for thirty thousand thirty one thousand as of this morning my own supplier told me that it's now thirty six thousand but i sell thirty five thousand i mean the truth is that you did make money from the one you bought 31 and the one you sold 35. The, the bad thing is that it's just bad for your business because now you can't tell at 35 anymore because you just bought that. Yes. So it's yes. bad for business because customers are going to be like, ah, which kind of increase is that? What's... So that's why I want to buy now directly from the supplier so that I can now be in that same um the position to sell at that thirty one thousand okay so so let's talk about let's talk about your cost the cost you need the money you need to purchase um this product how much of those products is typically buy at a time how much do you spend to purchase this product at a time and how often do you buy it okay i buy every three weeks or two weeks okay and most times like i buy 400,000 i buy 500 depending on how fast the other one that i sold 
sold out. Okay, so you typically spend about four five hundred k buying these things to sell them. Um, and you, you say you do you do it like every three weeks, or every one month, two to, two, two to three weeks okay. in a month. Okay, so about twice a month. Okay, sure. Excuse me. No problem. But Sorry. Then, no, it's still fine. But then, uh, if you are to buy it now, wholesale, direct from source, how much do you think you would need? Or how much do you need to buy it directly from the source? Okay, now, if if I want to start buying directly from the supplier, I need about one, um, 1 million to 1.5 million okay. because I have to travel down to Onicha now by myself and because I have contacts I've gotten contacts but now it's for me to now go down there by myself and um, source for what that I want okay so so one thing that is missing from the numbers you give because of how you gave me the numbers is what your profit margin is i'm, I'm unclear okay. what your profit margin is so i know you spend about four to five hundred k so let's just call it average of 450k to buy products would that okay. be the amount you buy the product every two weeks or every every is that, a, is, that a, is 500k a reasonable amount of money to say you spend on buying products in a month or not okay, in a so, month so in how two much weeks do you spend right now buying products every month okay every month i buy like 40 bundles that's like 1.2 million okay so do you sell 40 bundles every month right now yes yes i do so you you spend 1.2 million about 1.2 million in a month and then out of that 1.2 million you make 300k 250 to 300k so that is um 300k is 30 percent um so actually, not 30 percent because you have to do 12 um 1.2 million then add 300 so you sell it for about 1.5 million what you buy for about 1.2 you sold for about 1.5 right so your profit margin is about 30 percent is that right 30, um, 30 over 150 no 20 percent and if it's less than that a bit less than 20 percent so your profit margin is not the greatest right now so what i can ask you is do you think you can sell more than 40 bundles a month yes yes i can so let's do the math together Right now, you're spending okay. about 1.2 million every month. When yes. you start buying directly, are you still going to be trying to buy two times a month or just once a month? If if I start buying directly, okay, let me um, let me just um, break it down. Recently, I um, I got a class where that I had or like I have about 300 and something participants that i want to teach them the way to do teacher's business and to make um gain from it so you Massively. are the one teaching the class yes and when is the class i can going to take, take off it's going to start on 23rd to 24th how many 23rd to the class right now 353 participants i can send you screenshots ma'am okay all right yeah so, so tell the consumer. so um so now if that i start buying directly from the supplier i won't be selling at that 35,000 a bundle again i'll start selling at 31,000 a bundle and um i recently started doing sponsor ads like back to back and uh, most mornings i wake up like 3 a.m and i see customers demanding for things so business is not like when that i pay somebody to advertise for me 
it has now taken like another shift where that i run sponsor ads by myself and i make sure like it runs for two three weeks okay so, 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 so let me there ask there's now constant okay, sales so, now there's now constant so sales so let me ask, ask you something so again okay. my question about going to on each to go and buy would you be having to go to on each once a month or two times a month i i really need to understand what your real need is okay why i want to to go to onicha is to establish a relationship with a supplier because for these past years i've been buying from oh, somebody that i've not even hard. seen yeah. yes that i've not even seen okay. so going to onisha now is just once uh, ha, okay okay so the, let me just okay. go there establish okay. the relationship okay. get contacts okay and buy goods and come back okay. so you know now the relationship is already there all that i just need is okay Whenever please can you send me 30 bundles can you send me 50 bundles then i pay 